Each of these young men and women dedicated themselves to their team, making sacrifices along the way, and represented themselves and their school in an admirable fashion. Additionally, parents have made many sacrifices and a commitment to their children and to the team. For this commitment, we would like to thank you. We will start by recognizing the 2018 senior members of the Winter Cheerleading Team. First up, we have Savannah Doran with her parents, Wendy and Krista Mambro. Next, we have Christina Loring with her mother, Lynn. At this time, we would like to welcome the 2018 senior members of the Abington High School boys varsity basketball team. Last up, the Green Wave, number three, Captain Justin Kelleher. With Matthew and Andrew.
Tonight, the players of the Fan Baptist High School Greenway Basketball welcome the Warriors of South Shore Christian Academy. At this time, please direct your attention to the visitors' bench area as we announce the starting lineup for the Warriors. First up, we have number four, Junior Johnny Caldwell. Next up, we have number 12, senior Chris Caldwell. Next up, we have number 14, junior Micah Vasquez. Next up, we have number 21, senior Mason Moran. And finally, number 33, sophomore, Josh Daniel. The Warriors are led by head coach Kevin Roach and assistant coach Sam Stockwell. And now, please join me in welcoming your Abington Greenway varsity basketball team. Starting tonight for the Greenway are the five seniors. First up, we have number two senior, Jack McGuire. Next up, we have number five senior, Jalen Corsione. Next up, we have number 21 senior, Drew Lander. Next up is number 23, Senior John Newman. And last, the captain, number three, Senior Justin Keller. The Green Wave are led by head coach Peter Savino and assistant coaches Jay Brown, Chris Marquardt, Buck Madden, and Chris Todd. Laurel Blanchard. Welcome Greenway Nation to another boys varsity basketball game. Abington hosting South Shore Christian Academy. I believe this is their final regular season game. So good luck both teams. Abington in the white going right to left across your screen. South Shore Christian Academy. Warriors in the black. I want to thank Derek Nettle for 
helped me out this season. He did a bunch of the uh, basketball games for the varsity team. So I, I hope the varsity players appreciate them, appreciates what he did. Uh, along with Cam Kearney, Brendan Remillard, and Kelleher with the first basket. And uh, Yazin Zayden. I hope I pronounced that right. So I appreciate all those guys. Want to thank Mark Christopher and Scott Seagull for doing the uh, freshman game. I guess the varsity game, I mean the JV game, is going to be this Sunday, I believe. So, well, back to the game now. Over to McGuire. Yunez. Yunez right lane. His basket's good. Averton ahead 4 0. Game just started. And nice steal. Jalene, I can't, I can't pronounce his last name. <laughs> I got a little cheat sheet in front of me. Uh, unfortunately, I can't wear my reading glasses. Not while I'm filming here. Hey, I want to apologize to South Shore Christian Academy freshman players at some time in the fourth quarter. The camera shut off. Uh, this is the second time it's been an issue with that and I did not catch the very end of the game. Um, so my apologies to them and the Edmonton freshman team. So, so now Warriors, I'll call them Warriors. Easier to say than using South Shore Christian Academy. Again, Jaleen with a second basket. So Warriors take a timeout at with 6.41 left in the first, first quarter. Wow, I'm such a hack today. Get the cheerleaders out on the floor here. Cheerleaders has had a good season this year. I believe they went to Carver yesterday. As you know, senior night here in the house. So we got Roy Leander in the house. I also see Pat Kelleher and Jim Kelleher over here. Pat played basketball uh, his junior and senior year, uh, 68 and 69 with my brother Tom. Tom was a, a three-sport athlete. Pat played the alumni basketball game a few years ago. He still got game. Yeah, last time we had an alumni game, it, uh, it was quite a show, but a lot of injuries, so. I haven't seen it since that, that, since that time. So 14 drives in. I don't have a roster for uh, the Warriors. I'll just call out their numbers. And loop over there, 21 in the middle. He's got to get out of the paint, and he does. Over the left wing, right wing shot. Little short, off the iron. Munez, he drives the left lane, and he gets fouled on the way in. He'll be going the line for two shots. <laughs> Shooting foul. So that foul is against 33 for the Warriors. That is the, his first personal foul. Warriors with two team fouls. Munez's first shot is good. And so, Lynn is Pat, attempted pass over to Kelleher, it goes out of bounds. Over to 14, crossing pass. 
And he, he drives the left lane, dishes it out under the basket. Back out. Fourteen. Crossing pass again over the four. Shot clock's winding down. Down to five. He's got to take that shot. Shoot it! it. Clock violation. Turnover, Abington ball. And we got 10 and 23 coming in. And 33 and 12 taking a break for the Warriors. Keller inbounds it, inbounds it to Jolene. Back to McGuire. Bounce pass in the paint, turnaround shot. Landers shot is good. Lynn is one of the seniors this year. Matter of fact, uh, we got most of the seniors out on the floor today. Bounce pass in the paint. Kelleher recovers. Kelleher around the back, moves the handle of the ball. And 21 goes driving down. This is it off the four. In the paint, 21 turn around, he shot off target. Second shot is good, number 10. So his basket is good. He'll be on the line for one more shot. Justin on the line. Got Chris Nagel in the house doing the uh, announcing for Sean Riley. Thank you, Chris, for all that you do. How three point play for number 10. Over in the right wing, Munez, his shot just missed off target. And Landis almost got away with a steal. Over to the right wing, long shot, off the inside iron. Warriors end up with the ball, and stolen by Shaleen. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Out of bounds off the Warriors. Having a ball, 4-12 left in the first quarter. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this camera. It's, it's shut off twice now doing two different productions. I gotta find out why it's shutting itself off by itself. So Lynn is with back-to-back -back baskets. Over to four. Long pass just out of the reach of the Warrior player. So we got 33 and three coming in. 23 and 14 taking a break. Jalene bringing it up. Over to Munez, back out to Kelleher. And Kelleher loses a handle on it. Three recovers and he takes a shot. Off the board, long pass over to Munez. And Munez with the shot and the pressure. Didn't land, but we got a timeout, Abington. No, oh, I'm sorry. It was a foul against Abington. I think it might be pronounced Jalen. I'll ask uh, Derek when I get a chance. Is it Jalen? Okay. Sorry, I've been pronouncing it Jalen. Jalen. Sorry, guy. And that's because I can't pronounce your last name from the spelling of this. Maybe I should get a new edition of Hooked on Phonics. And we've got a fence foul against Munez. And that is his first personal foul. Edmonton with three team fouls. Warriors with two. 3-0-4 left in the first quarter. Crossing pass. Crossing pass right back again. Edmonton putting on the pressure. Over to the right wing. He drives the uh, right base. Three-point shot, off front off, off the front iron. Wow, really fumbling my words right now. 
Oh well. I can at least point the camera. Okay, Landis. Landis inbounds it to Kelleher. And Kelleher recovers from that. And pass into the paint, all over the place now. Turn around shot, just didn't miss his spot. Munez under the basket, he gets fouled. <laughs> Got some fans disagreeing with it. And his first shot is good. Okay, so Jalen and Kelleher take a break. And Will Klein comes in. And let me see who else. Uh, Bryson Andrews. I believe. Landers recovers. His basket's good. He's got at least six points. Six out of the 16. Having to put it on the pressure. And I don't know why it wasn't a backcourt violation, but we got a foul against Abington. Over the right corner, 33. Work in the circle. And as usual, Bryson Andrews comes in there, tips the ball away, steals it, makes the layup. Nobody's going to catch him when he's going that fast. That's a typical play for Bryson. He's done it all year long. So we have a minute 49 left in the first quarter. Abington 18, Warriors 3. We got the cheerleaders out on the floor there doing some flips. Not in my best day. I tell you, my father said he could do a flip one time in the kitchen. Turns around, starts at one end of the kitchen. Does the flip, but his feet end up going out the kitchen window. Didn't get hurt, and then he yelled at us because it I'm not supposed to horse around the house. So we got Chris Haggerty in the house. Chris, thank you for all that you do. Enjoying a little snack there. Look at Derek, Derek Nettles haircut. He's he's styling here, huh? <laughs> okay. There's the buzzer. Ref's trying to get the players out on the floor. Again, I'm keeping a close eye on this record button on here, making sure that it's still filming. Okay, inbound the four. And crossing pass. Tipped away. And call a kickball. So kickball against Abington, a fresh 30 seconds on the shot clock. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're gonna foul, I believe against Abington, Jack McGuire. That's Jack's first personal foul. You know it's with the rebound. Crosses midcourt, in the paint, dishes it back out to Will Klein. Oh, look at that ball handling by John Munez. And we get a foul, let's see who it's against. Nice 
Okay, so that foul is against 15 for Warriors. Bounce pass into Bryson. Jack over to John Munez. And he takes, steps back, gets the three point shot. Eyes are up by the ref. Nice shot. Down to 48 seconds left. And we got a travel call against the Warriors. Turn over Abingdon Ball. So we got Justin Murphy coming in. Linda's coming out, Munez coming out, McGuire coming out. Let's see who else came in. Number 10, Christian Labosh here. And uh, I'm not sure who else came in. Number 35, and I don't have him on my roster. He's on the JV side of this, and I don't have it showing right now. My apologies. Andrews, his layup, missed the, missed the mark. Rebounded by 21 for Warriors. Pulls it back. Over to 15, over the right wing. 33 with the long shot off the side iron. So must have stepped on the line, out of bounds. Abbing the ball. The boss here inbounds it to Andrews. 40, 40. And nice attempt by the Warrior there. Number four. And he ends up with the ball. He takes the shot and makes it. Nice effort by number four. Number four made that whole play. So that will end the first quarter. Abington 21, Warriors 5. Put the cheerleaders back out on the floor. Let's see what they're up to this time. And camera is still rolling. Good job, girls. So I'm gonna take a shot of uh, Steve McGuire and his lovely wife. Steve, booster president for Hamilton. And this landing back over here. Again, I wanna thank Tracy Remillard, Scott Siegel, Mark Cristoforo for helping me out all season. Season's not done yet. I believe Hamilton needs to win this game. I know the girls are in the playoffs right now. So Hamilton first touch to start the second quarter. No, I'm sorry. My apologies. It's Warrior Ball. 33 to inbound at the 14. Over to 21. Pushes it back out. And Andrews almost got a handle on it. Nice quick work by number 14 to pull it back in. Force back out. Back over to 14. And Little too much contact by 35. Let's see, let me open up this page. So the back side here. Uh, oh, that's Matt McGuire. Okay, sorry Matt. I should have recognized you. So Klein inbounds it to Andrews. And it comes up, sets up the play.
Off the board, 14 comes down. Quick, force back out again, over to 33. Working the outside perimeter. This is a back out. And 14 drives the baseline. And out off of Hamilton. 10 comes in. And 15 will take a well-deserved break. 14 with the inbound with 7-0-3 left in the second quarter. Hamilton 21. Warriors 5. Deep pass over to 23. 10, draw the right lane, dish the back out, cross the path. Just threw it a little bit off target, out of bounds. Andrews to inbound at the climb. Klein crosses midcourt, bounce pass over to the boss here. Matt McGuire under the basket, and Hamilton lost the handle on the ball. Warrior ball. Easy inbound to 14. Hamilton trying to set a trap, and deflected by Christian Labosse here. Klein now crosses midport. Midport. Wow. <laughs> Andrews with a spin around. Just didn't fall. And Matt McGuire rebounds it. Offside iron. And nice hustle play by 21. And it was tipped by Andrews, but still made the basket. Nice run by 14. Andrews now, setting up a play. Over the Klein, thought about taking the shot. He drives the right base. And, okay, let's see. Okay, there's a foul. And I believe that a foul is against 14 for the Warriors. So a bunch of Players take a break. Jalen with the inbound. Kelleher, Landers, Munez. Kelleher dishes it back out to Munez. He takes a long three point shot off the iron. Kept in by Edmonton, but recovered by Warriors, but threw it away. Now there's a breakaway. Bounce pass and rejected by Munez. Kelleher this is back out. Munez over to Jalen. And his shot off the front eye and 33 with the rebound. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Over to the right wing. This is back out, 33, working the outside perimeter again. Three point shot from the left wing. His shot is good. Number 14. Michael Vasquez, thank you, Chris. Okay, Kelleher now over the Jalen. McGuire under the basket, he gets fouled on on the way in. So Jack will be going on the line for two shots, and that is 14's second personal foul. Both both teams with 16 fouls each. No, I'm sorry. It's it's the foul was against 10. I guess the scoreboard hadn't changed when I looked at it. So my apologies to 14. You didn't deserve that. So we got a timeout, Abington. 4.29 left in the fourth 
in the second quarter. Abington 23, Warriors 10. The Green Wave cheerleaders heading back out on the floor. Good job, girls. Now, I wonder if the boys would be that trusting doing these stunts. Let's get a shot of some of the cheerleaders over here. And while I have the time, I'll get the shot over this side, too. So Warrior Ball under Abington's basket. Inbound to 14. Just keeps it. Nope, it stepped on the line. A little too hard, a little too close to the side. Just stepped out of bounds. Turnover, Abington Ball. Kelleher with the inbound to Jalen. Bounce pass over to Landers. Back to Matt McGuire. Matt pulls it back. Sets up a new play. And he takes a long three-point shot. Off the back iron. Balls on the floor and 23 just steals it out of his hands but throws it to Munez. And on the main coverage, Munez makes the shot. And 14 comes in, same way under a host of Hamilton players, and his basket is good, right back at you. Over to left wing, Munez. Munez, fade his shot, got a three-point shot there. I believe it was a three-point shot. Oh, nice spin by 33. And this is a back out to 23. He takes a three-point shot. Right back at you again. So it seems like the Warriors have gotten out of their little rut in the, from the first quarter and definitely having a better quarter this time. Scores 28, Abington 15. I mean, Abington 15, Warriors 28. Maguire. Uh, Landers just loses the handle out of it. And deep pass just out of the reach of 21. Turnover, Edmonton ball. 2.45 left in the, in the second quarter. Got a shot of cheerleading coach Mrs. McSherry over there in the corner. Jalen, he drives the right lane. Hook shot, his shot is good. Yeah, I just heard Chris pronounce his last name, and I'm not going to attempt it. Touched by Hamilton. Over in the left wing. Crossing pass over to 23. Off the back, Ian. Recovered. 21 under the basket. Under pressure. He makes the shot good. Nice speed and back. Pass by his fellow player. Jalen now over the right wing. Over the left wing. <laughs> Keller dishes it back out. Three point shot. And his shot is good. <laughs> Keller with interception. Over to Munez. Left lane. Landers with the rebound. Two baskets. Just a fall. This is out to Keller. He takes a three point shot. Off the front iron. Landers gets the rebound. Turnaround shot, finally makes it. Down to a minute and 20. 
So Warriors call a timeout with a minute, 22 seconds left in the second quarter. Edmonton 35, Warriors 17. Looks like we're gonna see some tumbles out here now. Fantastic. Yeah, I know the cheerleaders had a really good season this year. They they won the Edmonton Inventational. Well, look at this. Teddy bears. All sorts of nice little goodies here. Yeah, I think that I think they're collecting teddy bears for for something. As always, got, got Don Whitman down at the scorer's table. And the, I believe the gentleman with the, the blue color on his shoulders, I think his name is Jim. I met him early, earlier in the season. The scorekeeper, I have not met that gentleman yet, but thank you for all that you do. So 33 inbounds at the four for the Warriors. Four drives it to the paint, but this is a back out. Off the inside iron. Rebounded by Landers. Long pass over to Munez. And 14 can fly it in there. Deflect the ball out of bounds. Remains Abington ball on the Warriors basket. Nice hustle play by the Warrior. Jalen to inbound it. He's going to hit McGuire. Nope. And long deep pass over to Munez. Munez with the longer arms was able to pull it in. And fading shot off the side iron. And another throw away pass, but. Number 21 came flying down there, hustled to get that ball. Nice hustle play by 21 for the Warriors. We got 50 seconds left in the second quarter. And camera is still recording. And bounce pass and quick breakaway by Kelleher. And his basket is good, I believe. Jalen handed it off to him. Kelleher, Kelleher speed it down there. Tipped by Jalen. 21 now. Cross and pass over to 23. And he takes the shot. A little long. And that's out of bound, off the Warriors, Edmonton ball. But the bleacher creatures over there make a little noise. We got Landers inbound on it to Munez. Now 23, Munez just taking his time, waiting for the last shot. And Keller takes it, and in and out, five, four. He got the shot off, and just missed. Nice attempt by the Warriors to get that final basket before the quarter ended. So, at the end of two full quarters, we have Abbott 37, Warriors 17. We'll take a break and be back with second half action. Welcome back, folks, to second half action. So they had like a teddy bear toss. I'm not sure what that was, but they donated those 
Stuffed animals to some charity. I um, really didn't get any literature on it, so I really can't explain too much about it. But all those donated animals are being donated to a charity. Inbound to Jack McGuire. Over to Jalen. McGuire moves around. Bounce past to McGuire. And tipped away, and McGuire grabs a hold of it. Nice D by 33 for the Warriors. And McGuire takes the three point shot. Nothing but net. So I believe this is, again, this is their final regular season game. And hook shot didn't land. Jalen with the rebound. Jack McGuire stops, pops off the front iron. That was a two point shot. Lynn is in the paint, under pressure, makes the basket. And Lynn is tries to intercept. Oh, nice beating pass under the basket. And let me see, that was number 12 for the Warriors. Kelleher over to Jalen. Jalen in the paint, bounce pass to McGuire. Over the rim, rebounded by number four for the Warriors. Long pass over to 14. Oh, nice feeding pass to 21. He shot off the inside iron, didn't land. Out of bounds. Number four with the inbound for the Warriors. 6.30 left in the third quarter. That's not the boots there. Inbound, 33 now. Over to 21, deep in the left corner. Crossing pass, leaps up, pulls it in. In the paint, his shot, number 21, makes the basket, top of the paint. McGuire now brings it down. McGuire over the left wing. And this is a set of pick. McGuire just got intercepted coast to coast by number 21. He stops, pops, didn't land. Rebounded by Landers. Landers comes charging. No, uh, McGuire comes charging back. Intercepted by the Warriors again, number 14, going coast to coast. And intercepted by Jalen. Feeding past to Munez. He drives it to the left lane. His pass is good. Inbound over to four, the 14. Adams putting on the pressure. Crosses midcourt, bounce pass over the left, over the right wing. And that ball out of bounds. Off of Edmonton, remains Warrior ball. No fouls in the second half so far. Got Kate Casey in the house, just uh, I'm not sure what she's doing. Got a basket, and there's a three-point shot off the side iron. Rebounded by Munez, and Munez crosses midcourt. Deep over the right wing, the Kelleher, over the rim. Rebounded by 33 for Warriors. 14 now brings it up. 14, oh, nice pass through the crowd. This is the back out, over to the right wing now. Crossing pass over to 33, he takes a three-point shot. Over the rim, re rebounded by McGuire. Chaley is a doing a little chair back there. Over the Landers. Oh, nice feed under the basket. And Munoz gets his own rebound. Again, on the major pressure, makes the basket. I remember watching John Munez as a Freshman, and he was a standout player back then, and has just gotten nothing but better. He was great to start, and he's still great. So there's a foul under the basket. Let's find out who the culprit is. I don't know what the bleacher creatures are doing, but that foul was against John Munez. That's his first personal foul. And the first team foul in the second half. 
So Jalen Kelleher and Munez takes a break. And uh, Andrews, the boss here, and Klein come in. I didn't see who went in for the Warriors, but 13 and 23 came out. A 12 23. And 21 shot is good. Over the left wing. Boom, another shot by Munez. Munez is just piling in the points tonight. We are hitting the four minute mark in the third quarter. Over to 23. He takes a three point shot. Again, right back at you. Warriors keeping themselves in the game. Again, they had a first quarter, but ever since then, they've been right toe to toe with Abington. Now over to the right wing, and that ball is tipped out of bounds. Should be Warrior ball, and it is. 14 inbound, he'll hit four. Going now over 23. 21 drives the left base. This is a back out. 23. Warriors were again working the outside perimeter. Tapped by Klein. Intercepted by Klein. And he gets foul going in. And Klein will be going to the line for two shots. Let's see the ref. Let's see what his call is. And uh, I hear the bleacher creatures down in there, and that foul is against four for the Warriors, his first personal foul. Klein's first shot, nothing but net. Get Jack Maguire coming in, Matt Maguire. Landers coming out, Unit coming out. The so Warriors with two team fouls in the second half. Abington yet to get a foul. Klein's second shot. Two for two on that outing. Inbound over to four. Over the right wing, back to four again. Bounce pass in the paint, loses the handle on it. McGuire picks it up. He goes charging down there. And hook shot, and he gets fouled. So McGuire's gonna be going to line for two shots. Not a bad foul. Warriors can afford that foul. Maguire definitely would have made that shot. No one back. And ref still on the tuck in his shirt. Get that shirt in there. And that foul is against 21 for the Warriors. His first personal foul. Warriors now with three team fouls. And his first shot is good. 33 will come in, 21 will take a well-deserved break. 13 left in the third quarter. And two for two on that outing for Jack. Over to the right wing. Ten drives into the paint. This is back out. And again, Andrews with the steal. And that ball is tipped out of bounds. Nice hustle play by number 10 for the Warriors, though. Fast break, and 10 came in there, disrupted the play. Just under three minutes now left in the third quarter. The boss here with the inbound to McGuire. McGuire turns around off the front iron. Labasha with the rebound. And Andrews is going to fly through a host of Andrews. Warriors. Makes the basket. 14 now. And turns around, fakes the pass, and takes the shot. Labasha with the. Labasha with the rebound, and we got a block and foul against the Warrior. Number 14. And the ref's having a word with the coach. Everybody say, hey, 
we have an unhappy warrior fan over here. Got 2.22 left in the third quarter. Over the line, Klein in the paint. His shot is good. Right down the center. Now hitting the two minute mark in the third quarter. Bounce pass over to the right wing. Remains Warrior Ball. So we got Dylan Magararo coming in along with Justin Murphy. Klein and McGuire taking a break. Now hitting the two minute mark over to the right wing. Now the Warriors like to use the outside perimeter and drives it to the left, right baseline and that shot from the outside, 23 off the iron and intercepted by number four. Four comes out, fades off, gets his own recovery ball. Over to 23, quick shot off, boom! Nice shot by number 23. And Anders comes right back with a quick lane, quick left lane layup. Four now over to, I can't see, 14. Number's a little bit bigger on the back than they are the front. 14 takes a shot from the outside, off the front iron. Rebounded by Number 23, back-to-back -back baskets for 23. Now under a minute left in the third quarter. 59, added to the 59. Warriors 30. Andrews taking his time. Andrews left lane again. Basket didn't fall. Recovered by 23. And interception by Labossia. And not sure. Okay, three takes, three comes in for the Warriors. Four takes a well deserved break. 14 with the inbound. Pass over to three. And this is it off to 33. Back to the outside. Long shot from the outside. Off the iron. Off the top. Rebounded by Abington. Bullet pass down under the basket. Hot off the board. Recovered by 10. 10's coming down with two seconds left. And we're gonna foul. We're gonna block the foul. With 0.6 seconds left. So it's, it's going to have to be a real quick touch. And he got it off, but no basket. Nice attempt, though. Number 23. 23's having a great game. So that will end the third quarter. Edmonton 59. Warriors 30. Again, we have the cheerleaders out on the floor. Another fine job by the pretty girls out here. Yeah, some have white ribbons, some have black. Get another shot of Derek over here. All the gals know what a handsome young buck he is. <laughs> Okay, Warriors first on the floor now. And there goes a balloon. I have to go home and get my pellet gun. I love it. <laughs> so, start off the final quarter.
Warriors with the first touch. Eight minute quarters. Oh, I love this hat over here. Okay. Oh, another quick steal by Bryson Andrews. That was Mr. Toomey over there with that nice straw hat. And another steal from Bryson Andrews. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was quite a spike, but it was close enough. Impressive. Abnon has a big enough lead right now where they can have a little bit of fun, I think. And kept in bounds. Nice job by Kramer to hustle that ball back in bounds. So we got a foul against the Warriors. And that foul is against 33, his second personal foul. Andrew's first shot is good. Warriors now with 14 fouls, Abington with two. Minute guard in the fourth quarter. And Andrews, again, two for two. So I, I believe the Warriors, nope. I don't know what that whistle was. So over to 14, back to three, back to 14 again. 33, this is our top of the key. And we're gonna travel call against the Warriors. Turn over Abington Ball. Okay, we got Matt McGuire back in. Also, Jalen, I believe. I believe we had some subs. I think that was that, that was what the whistle was about before. Jalen, nice ball handling, quick moves, and that ball out off of Hamilton turnover. Warrior ball. Three with the inbound. He'll hit ten. Hands it right back. 14 now, over to three. Nice grab by three. Crossing pass over to 23. 23 has been killed from the outside, so someone will have to get right on him right away. We're gonna grab a call against Warriors, Abington Ball. Matt McGuire with the inbound to Jalen. Matt over to Jalen and nice stuff by number 14. Out of bounds off of 14 though. Remains Abington ball. We got four ready to come in and four gets to the bench on time and three will take a break. Jalen with the inbound in the paint. Fast break. 14, we got a three on one, and he gets fouled on the way in. So 14 will be going in line for two shots. Let's see. That foul was against Justin Murphy, and that's Justin's first personal foul. And his first shot is good. We got Jack McGuire, Landers, and Kelleher, Munez coming in. The rest of these guys taking a well-deserved break. 14 again on the line for his second shot. And hits two for two. McGuire inbounds it to Kelleher. In the paint, this is a back out to McGuire. And we're gonna trial a call against, against Jack. Inbound to four. Over to 14. 23 fakes, back to 14. He drives into the paint, loses the handle on the ball, but recovers. And I believe we've got a foul against Abington. 
Yes, we do. And that foul is on Drew Landers. And that is Drew's second personal foul. Fouls on the floor. Both teams with 14 fouls each. Out the floor, over to the right wing. And his shot just rolls over the top. Rebound by Jack McGuire. Oh, just inside of the paint. And, and Landers just lose the handle on the ball. Out of bounds, Warrior ball. 14 to inbound at the floor. Fourteen, back to four, back to fourteen again. Over to the right wing. And tipped away by Jalen. And stolen by fourteen. Nice crossing pass over to four. He gets fouled. Kelleher did in his case, but not working. So four is going to be going along for one more shot. Basket was good. We got 44 taking a break for the Warriors. 33 coming out. And we have Dylan Magararu coming in. Yeah, that was a name kind of tough for Kevin Whalen to pronounce. Hopefully I'm getting it right. And his shot all over the place, but finally gets sucked into the hole. Aguirre now brings it down. Jalen, over to Kelleher, Kelleher dishes it back to Magarau, and Kelleher with the three-point shot, nobody on him, took advantage of uh, being uncovered, 14 over to four, I mean, no, now it's 14, I'm sorry, now to 14, to four, four drives the right lane, he gets fouled on the way in. I believe that was going to be on Landers. Let's see. Yeah. Landers had that guilty look on his face. Uh, Coach Serino arguing the call. So four on the line for two shots. Again. Just hit his last three in a row. So Jack McGuire takes a break. Christian Labas here comes in. And off the back guy, rebounded by Landers. Over to Jalen. We got 419 left in the fourth quarter. Abington 68. Warriors 36. And we got a foul against Kelleher. Signify a little too much elbow there. And Warriors now in the bonus. Hamilton with 17 fouls. And that. Landers takes a break. Over to four now, just top of the paint. Missed his target, got his own rebound. Over to 44, 14 drives the right lane. And I believe his basket is good and he's gonna be going alive for one more shot. Yep, basket's good. And that foul. You see 15 coming in. So Kelleher is taking a break now. Let's see now, number uh, Elijah Kramer just came in. And there it goes. 14's basket is good, inbound to Jalen. Four putting on a lot of pressure. This is a back out. And four hustling his way. Just irritating Jalen. The boss here with the inbound, 14 on him. 
Over to Kramer. Kramer, stop, pop, basket's good. Inside the three-point line, though, two-point shot. So four. Again, Warriors like to work the outside. Try to dish it back out. Jalen, under pressure, hot off the board. Second effort, third effort. Over to Magarau. Magarau's shot off the back iron. And finally drops in. I believe that was Labossier that got the basket. So we got Justin Murphy coming in. And Labossier, let's see who's coming out. Labossier taking a break. 15 for the Warriors comes in. And 10 takes a well-deserved break. 14 comes out, and I believe 12 came in for the Warriors, I believe. Either that or 32. Before brings it up, just under three minutes left in the game. Over to 15. Bounce pass through the paint. Through the base. Out off the Warriors. Hamilton ball. Hamilton now with eight. Team fouls, Warriors with four. So Jalen comes up slowly. Over to Magarau. And Magarau dishes it off in the paint. And we're gonna foul against the Warriors. And Kramer's gonna go be going alive for two shots. His first shot off back iron. Good Jalen covering the warrior basket down deep. And his second shot is good. One-handed pass over the right wing. Bounce pass over to 15, and that ball. Wow. I thought that was kicked out of bounds by 15 for Edmonton. The ref is down the floor, though. He's right there. Obviously seeing something that I, I did not. So 32 goes coast to coast. No basket, and we're gonna travel a call against 32. That's too bad, because he had a great breakaway. So four takes a well-deserved break. Three comes in for four. You hear the bleacher creatures down in the end zone there. And got a hand check against uh, number three for the Warriors. Minute 41 left in the fourth quarter. So, there's the whistle. Inbound to Jalen. Kramer set the pick. And second effort. Kramer with the basket. And you gotta hold up. We have a Ampton player down on the floor. We will keep the camera here at midcourt while athletic trainer Lauren Eck will take a look at him. Yeah, he came crashing into the end zone pretty hard. Okay, you know what, we're gonna take a break and we'll be back when everything's taken care of in the end zone. We are back, folks. It was number five, 
Jalen, who ended up, it looks like it was his leg that hit the end zone. Okay, ball's back in play. Hopefully he's okay. Bounce pass over to 44, to three now, over to 15. <coughs> 32, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is getting a little hoarse now, 12, gets it up over the three, he drives the right lane, boom, nice way to finish off that play, number three, Fine now to brings it up, we are now under a minute left in the game, bounce pass over to Murphy, over to Kramer, to Magararu, he drives in the paint and just rolled a little too hot off the board. Second effort by Kramer, his shot doesn't land. And finally finishes it off by Murphy. So three brings it up. And we get a travel call against the Warriors with 17 seconds left. Hamilton, I don't expect the shot to be taken off. He'll take his time just walking down midcourt. Yeah, they're just going to pass it around a little bit. Thirty-five still in the game, and that will end it. Let me get a shot of the scoreboard before they take it off on me. So final score, Abington 77, Warriors 41. Good luck with the rest of the season. Both teams, not sure if, how many games they have left. I want to thank the two refs. Kate Casey over there at midcourt. Kate, thank you for all that you do. And... Fortunately, the camera did not shut, shut off in the second game. And I, I want to thank Chris Nagel for coming in the house and grabbing the mic. Taking the place of Sean Riley. Sean, you better watch your step. So, congratulations, Adamson. Good game, both teams. Let's put the final shot at the scoreboard again. Final score, Adamson 77, Warriors 41. February 15th, 2018. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Good day. Be well.